One day, sitting at home thinking about why none of the bakeries near me were baking decent loaves of bread, it dawned on me that not only their dough was lacking, but also their method of baking. I set out on a search for fire. My search led me to the book The Bread Builders and the Fantastic Masonry Ovens of Alan Scott. I met Alan one chilly winter day on the site of a small, purpose-built, light-duty oven at a private residence. I had read the book, but seeing the oven was a revelation. That day, I set out on the path to build my own oven. Seeing the Alan Scott oven halfway to completion, allowed me to inspect details not clearly spelled out in the plans. The forms used for the main arch of the roof, the interior finishing details, how to form the exterior door arch, build up the chimney, and apply the forms for pouring the concrete mass over the fire brick interior. Six months later, I was at work on my own, larger oven. I began by building a blockwork frame to lift my oven up off of the ground. Inside that, I poured a free-floating hearth slab, the foundation of the actual oven itself. After leveling the slab with the front exterior of the frame, the hearth was laid side walls and roof arch built. Construction was brisk until it came time for the masonry to cure. One of the great design features of the Scott style oven is its almost igloo shape where the entryway roof lowers towards the door. This shape creates a perfect convection loop crucial to heating the oven evenly. The other bonus to this design is that the chimney is exterior to the oven box itself, so that when the oven is sealed up, there is minimal heat loss. The heated bricks retain it all. After the masonry was cured and some of the exterior brickwork done, it was hard to resist using the oven even without the chimney. Once hot, the oven is like any other oven, except that we bake at close to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The loaves of bread are formed and raised. The bread is then slashed, sprayed with water, and loaded into the oven with a wooden peel. We can fit between eight and nine baguettes in the oven at a time. They take an average of 10 minutes to bake. Once they're baked, they're removed to cool, the oven rests a few minutes, and then is reloaded. We can typically bake 32 loaves in a half an hour. <laughs> 